Hello guys, I decided to make my new tutorial with voice because some people told me that it would be more professional. Since my English is not excellent, please don't wait or comment for this. Okay, on this tutorial I will show you some tips and tricks, or let's just say some ways to have a more pleasant experience playing in your server. We're starting with tip number one. A lot of people ask me how to set a picture that clients will see when they join your server. And here is how to do it. Firstly, find a picture or create one. I have created one for the purposes of this tutorial and it's here. I have to mention that the idea of the solution for the picture is 800 to 600. Uh, here's my picture. Next, go to your favorite image hosting site. I prefer image site because it's free. Click bronze, upload your picture. Click Start Upload and it should upload. Okay, now that it has finished, click this, the thumbnail here, and go here and this image on the HTML. Control C or right click it copy. Next, next go to your server directory, orange box, TF, and here you should find a text document called MOTD or message of the day. Click it, just erase everything and paste the code you just copied. Click save and now you should see the image appear when you join your server. Okay, well as you see here's the picture and it's very nice. <laughs> now let's go to tip number two. If you like having a nice server and some Happy clients, you can use some plugins for search mode. Here is the plugin space. Uh, there are a lot of types of plugins, including administration plugins, fun plugins, and more. I'm listing the best for me. You can find the links on the description or repeat. Uh, after you download the desired plugins, installation is very easy. I'm just I'm gonna choose randomly a plugin to show you installation. Okay, let's use uh, TF2 Teleport Tools. Click Get Plugin and save it. Go to the folder of saved and click Copy. Now go to your server directory, Orange Box, TF add-ons, source mode, and plugins. Right click and paste. Okay. And now the plugin should be installed. Tip number three. Whenever Valve releases new updates for Team Fortress, you have to update your server, else clients will not be able to join. And here is how to update your server. Click start if you're running XP, click run and then type CMD. I run Windows 7, the procedure is uh, the same for Windows Vista. On the switchboard, type CMD. The console prompts to pop up and write CD. And the directory that the Valve Update tool is installed. For me, this is the directory. Okay. Now, basically, the command is same with uh, the tutorial showing the installation for server. The command is hlds update to dot 
command update game ts and div the directory of your server mine is tf2 server okay well this normally takes 10 to 20 maybe 30 minutes depends on the size of the update after it's done your server is up to date okay now tip number four you know a lot of people ask me what exactly is SB Pure and how to use it well I answer basically SB Pure is something like a tool it's actually a command but it works like a tool that makes sure clients have the same files with the server for example as if SB Pure is set it to one it for fun servers basically enables custom sound files like Quake sound pack and also enables a whitelist uh, whitelist dot txt text document uh, with users not affected by it uh, SB Pure set it to 2 SB Pure 2 for its for competitive servers does not allow any skins and ignores the whitelist. In other ways, SB Pure set it to 2 is more strict than SB Pure set it to 1. In order to change SB Pure, go to your server directory, orange box, tf, cfg, and on server cfg file. Create a new line writing SV Pure. 0 or 1 or 2, I prefer 2 for my server and click save and the last tip for today, tip number 5 well if you are having lag issues here are some things that you can change to minimize the lag firstly, it is recommended for systems with a single core CPU to host the server from a different PC and play from another. I mean, don't host and play from the same PC if your system can't afford this. Secondly, close any programs that measure your bandwidth or in other words, your internet speed. For example, Windows Live Messenger. Also, if your upstream or upload, upload speed is less than 1 mega pps change sv max players to something like 14 to 16 in order to do that just go to your team fortress 2 directory orange box click the shortcut srcds shortcut and then properties here you will find this max players 16 change it to a number 14 or 15 or 16. Mm, that's it for today. I hope you like my tutorial and don't forget subscribe, comment and rate. Also any suggestions for new videos are more than welcome. Thank you.